Infinity Classic Car TV. So why the Route 66 Retro Road Trip? Well, a couple of staffers bought a couple of classic old sports cars. They were located out west and they had to come east. So in between west and east was Route 66. So we thought, why not? Our Route 66 Retro Road Trip, better known as the Trip of Fools, began with an interview under the false assumption that we had plenty of time to get the two classics to Flagstaff. We picked up our two white classics at Reliable Carriers Facility in Chandler, Arizona, only to find out that the Jensen Interceptor wouldn't start. It was outfitted with a fresh battery, but it was diagnosed with a faulty starter solenoid, so no luck. We finally hit the road and made it about 10 miles before the Datsun had its first issue. In the glow of the street lights, a stuck thermostat was removed and a new gasket was MacGyvered into place. We didn't make it to Flagstaff until 2 a.m. After a couple of hours of sleep and a check of the weather, we were back to parking lot for repairs and preparation for day one of the road trip. We installed a new starter solenoid in the Mopar-powered Jensen and confirmed that our previous roadside fix was holding up well in the Datsun. We departed Flagstaff and made our way to the first photo shoot. Two Guns is a ghost town with a violent history, and we soaked up the sights in the abandoned zoo before making our way further east. Holbrook, Arizona was next, known for its wigwam motel and giant cement dinosaurs at the Rainbow Rock Shop. No time for rest, we still had plenty of miles to go before sleep. We picked up some authentic southwestern souvenirs at the Jackrabbit Trading Post in Joseph City, including a sombrero and petrified wood. After dark, we pulled into the El Rancho Motel in Galp, New Mexico. Lit by bright neon, it was a welcome sight for weary eyes. Day two brought another early start. The natural beauty of the southwest kept us entertained in our radioless cars. Many of us had never been to this part of the country before. New Mexico wasn't nearly as friendly to the Datsun as its residents were to us. It had to be flatbedded to Albuquerque for repair, but this gave us a chance to explore and eat while the guys at Duke City fixed her up. Back on the road, the Jensen was feeling left out and decided to give us fuel problems. Several fuel filters later, we limped into Tucumcari, New Mexico. Motel Safari owner Richard Talley greeted us like family and our moth-riddled classics got a rest. The next morning, he helped arrange for an oil change for the Jensen and introduced us to Mother Road Memory Iron. On the road again, the Haggerty Facebook fans suggested Russell's Truck Stop, just east of the Texas border and Cadillac Ranch outside of Amarillo, Texas. The Datsun wasn't ready for a new state and shredded one of her old tires. Two cans of fix a flat and the spare and we made it to the tire store that actually stocked tires for it. Luckily it was next to a real life cowboy store. After the new tires were mounted on the Datsun, we made our way to the iconic former Conoco station, the U-Drop Inn in Shamrock, Texas famous to anybody who's seen the movie Cars. By this point, the suggestions for stops were pouring in from our Facebook fans. We made it to Pops and the Round Barn in Arcadia, Oklahoma, before making our way to the National Hot Rod Museum and Hall of Fame in Afton, Oklahoma. After an interview with legend Daryl Starbird and a mini car show with some clients who had followed our journey, we had to keep on moving. With the breakdowns growing farther apart, we stopped at Wayland's Cuckoo for burgers and malts. Our trip started to look like we'd make it all the way to St. Louis with cars and sanity intact. Almost 24 hours since our last breakdown, and we only had one more day of driving to do. A stop at an auto parts store to stock up on oil gave some of the team a chance to meet the Boots Motel owners. On the last stretch before St. Louis, we really started to lose our minds. The 30-year-old walkie-talkies provided entertainment, and the cows alarmed us slightly by assembling to get a closer look at the cars. We made it to Cowboy Heaven at Rinks Market and saw the Munger Moss Motel in Lebanon, Missouri before we were back on the road. 2,100 miles, 15 breakdowns, 6 new friends, 1 great journey.